Hello, survivors! Okay! Okay! I will do the damn video! Today, we will be looking at gun damage and how it works in Unturned. Sadly, I will not reach a conclusion of the best weapon in this video, as damage is only one aspect of weapons. When I searched through the internet to find a consensus on the values of armor and damage, my data did not match up. It was then that I knew what I had to do. Make an in-depth video explaining every little nook and detail about weapon damage in Unturned. Just keep in mind that all data being discussed is clearly laid out for you and your use in the spreadsheet as always. There are five factors that influence the damage that a gun deals to a player. Where the player was shot, type of gun used, durability of gun used, the clothing worn on the shot body part, and the durability of that clothing on that shot body part. Keeping in mind these five factors, we can then grasp an entire understanding of how damage works. First, we have to think about which body part was shot. Here is a little graphic I made up with my poor Photoshop skills, but as you can see, headshots have a hit location multiplier of 1.1, chest 0.8 and limbs 0.6. Using the eagle fire as an example we can figure out how much damage it will deal to each body part simply by multiplying the hit location multiplier and the base damage of the gun. This makes headshots the strongest, chest shots the second best, and leg shots significantly less damage than the other two. In this example I get shot in the head by a timber wolf and I instantly die because the base damage of a timber wolf is 99 multiplied with the hit location multiplier of the head, 1.1, to make me take 108.9 damage, which is over 100 health, which I have. Next is durability of the gun used. Guns do not start losing damage until they get below 50% durability. Once a gun is below 50%, for every percent of durability lost below 50%, it will also lose 1% of damage. So, if a gun is at 25% durability, then it will deal 75% of its intended damage. Here I am shot in the head with a 25% durability Timberwolf, and I take 82 damage as 1.1 times 99 times 0 0.75 equals 81.65. However, if it was at 100% durability, then I would have died. Most types of clothing provide some type of armor, this means that they block a certain percentage of damage. For example, when I was shot in the head with the Timberwolf earlier, I instantly died. However, now that I'm wearing a helmet that blocks 15% of damage to the head, I can live, as 99 times 1.1 times 0 0.85 equals 92.565, which is less than 100. Now we have to consider the health of the helmet. This helmet is at 25% durability, and it will block 25% less damage than the 100% helmet. It has lost one-fourth of its durability, and therefore loses one-fourth of its blocking power. This helmet was supposed to block 15% of damage, but since it is worn, it will only block 11.25% of damage. 99 times 1.1 times 0 0.88 means I'm taking 95.832 damage, and I can barely live. Keep in mind that when shot in the chest, the vest will be the clothing that is blocking the damage, so in certain situations it could be better to not be wearing a vest at all. As an example, I'm going to be shot with a 100% durability Timberwolf to the chest, while wearing a full durability military shirt. I will take 71.28 damage. Then I put on a full durability sweater vest over the military shirt, and then I am shot with the same 100% durability Timberwolf and take 75.24 damage. Even though the bullet travels through two layers of fabric, I will take more damage. In many PvP situations, four points of health can make a huge difference. This is why I would suggest taking off your civilian vests before entering PvP if you are wearing a military shirt underneath. If there is any confusion about how to calculate damage, I will be including four formulas that I made just for you guys. Also, as always, all the data and testing about damage on certain body parts and clothing will all be on a spreadsheet in the description. Please check it out. Some values are still one point of damage off from what I mathematically think they should be. I still have not figured out why this is, 
For instance, the Eagle Fire's base damage is 40, when someone is shot in the leg they should take 24 damage, however in practice the Eagle Fire deals 25 damage in the leg. If someone has an explanation for this please let me know down in the comments. If anyone knows how to access the unturned game files so I could look at them to get a more exact value instead of testing, please get in contact with me. These tests were largely difficult to conduct because of the inaccuracies in the wiki and other posts. I found one Steam discussion post dating back from 2015 which had the correct limb multiplier, while I also found a reddit post simply from 24 days ago which had the wrong leg multiplier not a single person corrected him. I have just seen so much need for this video, whether it was famous YouTubers providing numbers that were inaccurate, or a guy 23 days ago making an informative reddit post with the wrong limb multipliers. I hope that I have put all of this nonsense to bed, and this is just a video that can perfectly explain all these issues for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. If you didn't, please tell me why in the comments. As always, have a good one.